Okay, what I'm going to talk about now, which I've actually already recorded a video about this with a webcam on my computer, but for some reason the audio didn't look synced up with the video, so I looked like, and I just looked really bad of an 8 minute video, which will shorten this one. This is honestly about the anti-crowd versus, or the anti-gun crowd versus the pro-gun crowd. And yes, I consider them anti-gun no matter if it's people who actually hate firearms or the ones who want reasonable restrictions. And as one YouTuber pointed out, just because you put the word reasonable in front of something doesn't mean it doesn't make it reasonable, doesn't mean it goes together. But anyways, for example, anti-gun people claim pro-gun people are violent to how violent we are. Yet, every time there's a celebrity or somebody who's going to do a benefit or go to an event that's pro-gun, we're all happy about it, great. But the anti-people send them tweets. I don't have a Twitter account, so the time I see this is on Facebook or a screen capture of it, obviously. Send them tweets. Um, send them emails, which I'm not quite sure how they always get their personal account, but whatever. Or they'll call them and threaten them. And yes, because people have pulled out be pulled out of events because of threatening calls. For example, uh, there was a car dealership or a small dealership or whatever that was making a promotion. Every car we sell. We give away an AR-15. I believe that was a promotion. If I'm wrong, again, somebody will correct me. But they finally had to put up a message saying we had to end the promotion because we got too many threatening phone calls, too many threatening voicemails or whatever. This is from the anti-gun crowd. People who claim that we're the violent ones. I mean, seriously. And for another example, I've been on the Moms Demand Action Facebook page. I I used to get bored to go there just to see what crap they say or how much nonsense they're not how much nonsense they're typing. And one time I happened to get a picture of a woman with a open carry gun. Well she was open carrying and gun was holstered, she was pushing her cart. I mean, what was really threatening about that? If if legal if open carry is legal in your state and you want to do it, that's fine. But then there were comment after comment after comment saying that if they ever saw a woman like this or anybody like this, they would slam their cart into her, they would attack and beat the crap out of her, or they would pull out their own concealed weapon, which I thought was kind of hypocritical and funny, and they would shoot this person, claim they feared for their life, or pull the stand your ground crap. It's like, I'm sorry if that person's gun is holstered and you shoot them. I hate to break this to you, but the law is not going to be on your side with that. And then when I commented on the fact that these people were threatening violence against somebody who could be a mother just open carrying, or just a random person, I refreshed the page a couple minutes, a couple times, just to see who responds, see what they're going to say when they respond to me. I mean, I said something that didn't make sense to them. So I just point out that they're the violent ones. I pretty much figured they weren't going to be happy about that. And it took about 10 minutes. And I found, found that listing again on their site because it had gone down because they're constantly commenting. And my comment was gone. There was no re replies to it. It was just gone. And then when I clicked, I noticed I no longer had the ability to comment. So it's like they cut off my ability to say anything, but I can still see the page. So I guess it's a I guess it's a public page version of Blacklist. And I've commented on that page before saying, well, I might point much worse stuff about other crap that they said. And then so I'm just pointing out that you guys are threatening physical violence about somebody who's not doing anything wrong. And that's what pissed them off. That's what got me cut off. Seriously? I mean come on. All I did was make a basic comment. But again, they say we're the violent ones, yet if somebody 
is going to do an event or something for the anti-gun crowd to, you know, care about our children or save the children is to make like a throw around just just so people who don't think it through think it's a great idea and the celebrity that does it and then we we just act disappointed things like that like for instance with Tim McGraw's thing how I have no clue if, 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 if it's happened or not because honestly I don't follow that post I just know that him and some other artists were supposed to do an event for every town for gun safety or new town or some, something like that and all the pro gun listings or comments I saw were just disappointment or I'm not going to listen to him or I hate his music anyways no direct threats none whatsoever there was no comments that threatened bodily harm it was just disappointment and saying well I guess I won't listen to him anymore that's, that's from what I saw that's the worst they got yeah, if somebody wants to send a pro gun, oh no, they get hell. They get threatened with physical violence, all kinds of crap. It just, they're hypocrites when it comes to that crap. Where the violent ones, they, they threaten the violence when somebody wants to do something pro gun. It, it doesn't make sense if you ask me, honestly. But that's my take on the whole anti gun crowd versus the pro gun crowd and a generalization. And again, I'm sure if I said something wrong in this video, someone will correct me. Come and take it if you want it. Come and take it if you think you can. Come and take it, but we'll warn you. You'll have to pry from our cold dead hands. We want the freedom that God gave us, so you best not cross that.